Stop. Okay. All right. You sit down now. You sit down. Okay. What have I done? I, number one, I gave you a time limit. Why do I give you a time limit? Because I'm trying to stop your emotions for being that gateway of say, oh, should I tell this stranger this, that, that? Did you notice that you just everything just came out because I gave you that time limit? Yes or no? Hands up. All right. See, that time limit is making you aware of your emotions. It's your emotions that stops you from saying, oh, should I tell a stranger this one? No, not that one. That's too embarrassing. Okay, next one. No, no, it's too embarrassing. Okay, next one. But because you've got a time limit, your emotions are not saying. You haven't got, you're not giving your emotions time to actually, uh, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. You understand that? All right? That is happening in your mind all the time, every day, and you're not aware of that. Yes, okay, you condition that from your parents, they bring you up, you, you shouldn't do this, you should do that, and okay, we under that, understand the social conditioning, we understand about being a good human, okay, I understand that, you, you've got to have that self-control, you've got to be the good citizen, I understand. Emotional conditioning for that is good, I'm not saying you don't have that. But sometimes that overflows into our dreams, and then the emotions clog up start to clog up those reasons and those dreams. And that exercise just showed you that your emotions are there. You'll have emotion. Okay? Music. Does that sound cool? There's emotion. That's appealing to your emotion, not to your thoughts. Okay? All right? Remember tonight, I'm tapping I'm trying to tap your emotions, your thoughts and physical. In the end, if we can align those three things, we can bend time. What do you mean bend time? Do more in the same time. Okay? So tonight is about making you aware of those three things when they're out of alignment. Because when they're in alignment, wow, nothing can stop you. If you get in alignment with those three things, nothing will stop you. Wow, so much power. Okay? So tonight is about getting awareness of those three things. All right, we don't want to focus. All the exercise tonight is to try and tap into those three things. Let's keep on moving tonight. We've got lots to do. Okay, when was the last time that you felt passion, ecstasy? Three occasions. Three occasions. This is part of your identity con docker. When was the last time you felt passion, ecstasy? Well, I don't mean the drug ec ecstasy, but you know what I mean. When was the last time? Three occasions. Because we don't have full time to do that tonight, but I can teach you the peak flow, the peak flow process, and that is a psychological type of hypnosis conditioning, where you can repeat it when you need it, say before a job interview, and you can actually condition yourself to be at that peak flow process. Okay, even if, like what happened to me 12 hours ago, that worst thing happened, bang, I can just do a sudden shift in my mindset and walk in to a new venue with a changed person. Remember, you know, th when things hit you, don't they linger around for days, if not weeks? Put your hand up. And, and so a question you have is, how do you turn it off? How do you actually, you know, just turn off that negative vibe? It, you know, it, like it goes away slowly, but wouldn't it be good if you turn it off straight away? Okay, that's a peak flow process. We don't have full time to do that tonight, but I'm, if you're more interested in that, we can go through that, okay? Let's go into deep uh, psychological uh, conditioning here, okay? But the way to do it is I would actually get you into that state. You need to memorize, recreate that time you felt passion and ecstasy. When was that last time? When was that last time? You, you Put your hand up if you re can recall a time all of you, right? You don't have to say it out. I'm not going to embarrass... No one gets embarrassed tonight, okay? Don't worry. Okay? You, you do recall some time, right? Like, I remember when I was winning a tennis tournament. And I remember that, 987. I ran this... One, one of the last ones I won, by the way. All right? It was a long time ago. Anyway, I won this tennis tournament. And just, it was just so much passion and ecstasy. And if you can relive that moment, and then you actually make movements to go with that, like clap of hand touch of the of the chest or something like that and that that helps switch switch that brain away from that negative signal that's in there and just recreate why don't you keep the good memories have you ever thought about that why is it that negative memories just sort of linger and then those really good experiences sort of just go away but you can recreate them because you experience them
I didn't experience your great feelings. It's you, not me. I'm not here to motivate you. You, you just got to find them inside you. All right. So that's what the peak flow process is about. Okay. So you can do it. You can train yourself to do that. It's very, very easy. Okay. And you can do that. Just it takes five, ten minutes every day. You can do that. All right. As you're walking along, and just you recreate that. You recreate that event. You're coming up, and you feel yourself coming up to it's happen. Bang, and then you make a physical movement or you sort of, you know, that feeling, you make a physical movement at that time, you clap your hands or something, you, you try and jolt it with a physical movement and then that helps condition it in your brain, helps you, what you are doing is programming a switch in your brain to turn it on, okay, because it's all there.